Hi, hello. Welcome back to my channel, Govin English Teacher. Today, a great speaker is Kas. She is uh, Pavitra Madam. Wow. She is an eminent and excellent teacher, experienced teacher. Today, she is going to share her experience. So, why some people stuck while they are talking, while they are making communication? Why some people get into stuck? So, what is the reason and how they can overcome that stuck? So, is it common for any learner? So, how one can avoid this stuck and how one can be fluent speaker? And uh, uh, welcome back to my channel, Pavitri uh, Madam. And please uh, react and uh, respond to this uh, question. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hi, sir. Hello, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your compliments, sir. Yeah, yes. Today, I'm going to share my experience of how was I getting stuck while speaking in English in the beginning of my English learning journey. And how did I overcome the challenge? Yeah, everybody, you know, uh, stuck while speaking in English. This is a big problem. So, which every, you know, learner faces. So, in the initial stage, I was learning, when I was learning, I was absolutely, you know, uh, nervous in the conversation. So, I had a lot of stuff in my head. But I did not, you know, uh, have a, I did not know how to put them out i would get stuck while speaking in english and to express my thoughts so when we find these kinds of problem we have to you know find out the solution as soon as possible so i thought of many you know tips on the tricks to uh, overcome those uh, you know um, problem uh, to uh, face the situation in a positive way so one of the uh, uh, best tip and uh, the first tip i followed uh, was when I was uh, got stuck, I used to, uh, you know, uh, take tea, deep breath and I was calming myself and then I was continuing my conversation. So it really helped me. Uh, I can say you to try, you too will definitely, you know, uh, make you uh, uh, use of it. And then the next point uh, I would like to say uh, that simplifying uh, our sentences while speaking so uh, when we are uh, you know engaged in conversing if we are not able to get proper word so we have to substitute that word with a simple word so there are two ways of you know speaking one is uh, in a simple manner and also in a difficult manner we can speak so always choose simple manner for example if you want to say, I like my parents, you can say in a simple manner, uh, yeah, I love my parents. So you can also say in a difficult manner that I have a huge amount of love to my parents in my heart. Like that, we can make our, you know, uh, sentences simple or difficult. It is left to us. So I always opt for, you know, simple manner of speaking. It really works. It helps a lot. And also, we should not, you know, bother about the pronunciation uh, while speaking uh, because uh, English uh, pronunciation is difficult for non-native speakers because uh, this is a foreign language and uh, we are non-native speaker of uh, English. So that um, it is very difficult. So we should not bother about uh, pronunciation and also accent because every, in every region, every uh, people speak differently with a different accent. So we should not bother about it. And we should just uh, concentrate on our fluency and not on accuracy. So the, this step also I followed. It also worked me a lot uh, to, you know, uh, face the uh, situation in a positive way. Then... We have to slow down our speaking. The next point is uh, while speaking, we have to speak very slowly. We should not rush to speak uh, in a very fast way. So uh, by speaking slowly, we are letting our brain to think uh, and also that what we need to speak in the uh, conversation. And it also help our brain uh, to calm down and to feel free and to get relaxed and to uh, get new new points while speaking yeah 
so we have to speak very slowly the, that is one thing uh, what i followed so uh, as i already told what i feel you know there is a beauty in being simple i feel there is a beauty in uh, being simple and there is a beauty in trying to express yourself in a simple manner so that if we follow this yeah yeah you will definitely it will definitely help you yeah then mm, one more point which make us uh, you know uh, to get stuck while speaking is uh, fear of making mistakes yeah yes, yes. yes everybody uh, face this uh, problem so what i say you do not worry too much well speaking you do not worry too much you do not put pressure on your brain so be kind to your brain yeah so don't pressurize that i need to you know uh, come with a great words and uh, fancy words advanced words like that you do not pressure your brain you take a simple words yeah even if you mess up uh, the conversation it's fine we can learn from it so not to so what we have to bother we should bother about not to repeat the same mistake in the future but yeah. we should not bother about what we did uh, the the mistake like that so uh, from the mistake we can learn yeah so don't let that stress to pull you down while speaking yeah that is the one thing i found yeah then uh, the next thing don't try to impress others while speaking as yeah. you are a learner as you are in the beginning stage of you know a uh, learning uh, do not bother about impressing others you just bother about learning what you can learn from that situation that context you just concentrate or focus on that and do not instead of concentrating on impressing others you just concentrate on what can i learn from the situation even if you make yeah. mistakes uh, yeah am i able to take some uh, you know tips or uh, uh, something which is which help us help me to improve my vocabulary my language like that we have to um, think because as we are a learner we are not tend to you know um, speak perfect should not bother about uh, you know uh, the mistakes and all and impressing others and all so uh, these are all the major points which i followed uh, to improve or to uh, to overcome uh, stacking while uh, you know speaking so few other points i would like to mention are you know lack of uh, concentration lack of interest and lack of practice lack of environment lack of uh, you know uh, confident these also matter yeah, yeah these yeah. also matter so what we have to do we have to uh, you know pay 100% attention while speaking and also we have to concentrate kept in my mind while uh, speaking so that helped me a lot to not to get stuck while speaking yes sir this is my experience yeah okay wonderful experience madam it will be it will help many people because many people they know english very well because of only the reason is the stuck they can't express because they want to impress so initially you yeah. should try to impress others by our uh, article language you know we have to try to yeah. express ideas and also develop confidence and the consistency good content and we should not focus on the pronunciation because english uh, yeah. uh, it has a different different dialects so one cannot speak like uh, uh, native speakers we should never try to speak like native speakers we should try to like as indians okay that is the thing and uh, be confident and practice confidently and uh, speak confidently automatically yeah. everything will be possible and thank yeah. you pavitra madam for your uh, good thank suggestion you good advice and uh, sparing yeah. your time making everything thank you very much bye thanks Thank you namaste bye bye